The runout is one of the most unique traditions in college football. My favorite thing about the runout is when they play the intro video because my horse knows the song that goes with it and I feel him like perk up and he's ready to go. Metallica blaring, Montana State fans cheering as Bobcat Cowboys and Cowgirls lead the football team onto the field. However, it stands for more than just a pregame ritual and rather a reminder to keep rodeo at the forefront of the treasure state. This should be treated more of a way of life rather than a sport. I think that gets lost a lot of times. It's something that we need to keep going because it's, like I said, part of Montana's, you know, traditions and we have to keep it keep it alive. The Cats keep it alive beyond the football field. Montana State has nine national team titles as well as 35 individual championships, all while wrangling school and the ranching lifestyle. 6.30 every morning we have workouts and then they go to class and then they come out here. They're taking care of their horses in the meantime and then we have practice. Um, then they also have to juggle, you know, traveling to the rodeos and competing at the rodeos with their schoolwork, and uh, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough lifestyle, and a lot of I don't think a lot of people realize how much goes into it. While a lot of people don't realize the work that goes into it, Bobcat Athletics does, especially since making rodeo an official sport within the department two years ago. Pride in the program has just gotten bigger because we are um, there with every other sport and we're getting treated the same. And also we have so many resources. We have a strength and conditioning coach who's awesome and it's just made such a big difference with our team. We have tutors. Just the resources have just really taken our team to the next level. Now the fans also take the team to the next level. Over 8,000 people sell out the spring rodeo every year where Montana State football returns the favor and leads the team into the Brick Breed and Fieldhouse before competition. ESPN College Game Day even made the program the face of their Week 12 episode when the crew came to the Big Sky for the first time ever. Coach Cowan, everybody was so hospitable. You know, I've always grown up watching College Game Day, so for me, it was kind of a dream come true to be there and part of it. And I give a lot of credit to the athletic department for connecting us with them and you know, that, that just shows how much this community loves the rodeo team here and it's a special feeling. And that special feeling runs throughout the rest of the team. The support is really unmatched anywhere else in, I would say, the nation. And to have that support is what helps us go down the road and be successful. When you can have this camaraderie uh, within teams and between teams, it really makes it so everybody is winning. There's just so much support from everybody, so. I think that's my favorite part. You can't get that anywhere else. You can catch Montana State Rodeo as well as the football team back at Bobcat Stadium on Saturday, September 2nd for Gold Rush as the Cats kick off their season against Utah Tech.